Well, Rob, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. Um, I know we've had a lot of teachers looking for um, just kind of more resources and more ideas for uh, putting content on video boards. And I know right. you are a great resource to ask because at Carney, you are kind of crushing it in the in the score vision department and also in the broadcasting department. Yeah, we, we try. We do our best. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to jump on in. Okay. So, um, let me go all the way back. Sorry. Um, I wanted to first ask, um, when did Carney get uh, video boards, and at what point did your digital media class transition to making video board content? Okay. Uh, this is our fifth year of having the video boards, and we have Score Vision, but I I think the two biggest ones you see like Score Vision and Dactronics, same thing, just different companies. Uh, and said so this is our fifth year. Uh, with the video boards, and I was warned ahead of time that the video boards are coming. So start thinking out and trying to find what creation and content we would want to do and put on those. So, okay, uh, you know, my administration was really good about about letting me know. So we started thinking about it and said, okay, we need to film this to make this. You know, because you can't because you want to have good content. And so we started filming the, the year beforehand uh, or making sure we had good content to create. And then we started doing some research. So um, you know, it, was, it was a little process up there, but I had really good administration that gave me a, a long heads up. Yeah. What did your research entail? I, honestly, it was just, it was okay. And what we're going to touch on later on, you know, okay, what did we want to create? Mm. And... Um, how do we want to create it? And then also we kind of went to what we always call YouTube, YouTube university. <laughs> and we started looking at like what colleges, because colleges had video boards for years and we look at professionals mm. and so you get some inspiration, some ideas, you know, of course we can't copy that because we just don't have the resources, but we have the ideas yeah, and the length and what we wanted to do and, and how teams did it. You know, we go to Husker, go to Husker game. And, you know, Husker is Nebraska. Is, it's actually a, very much an industry leader. We've kind of found out. Just kind of watch what they do. And and people go, oh, yeah, we went to this game. So that's kind of how we got started with it and to, to make content. Do all of your classes, I know Carney is kind of unique because you actually have built a, a digital media program. So there's four right. years of digital media classes. Yes. Do all of your classes make content or no. what does that look like? Yeah. Um, the, the only kids who are usually, are usually make the content are kids in our in our final level, our Bearcat vision level. Okay. And um, th that's kind of an in-house internship. We, we have like over 20 kids in that class. And those are the students who kind of... Mm, you know, we went through other classes in our in our Media Pro One and our Media Pro Two. They make their first hype video. We always call it. And Media Pro Two, we talk about, you know, the, the song choice and when do you want, you know, what's the objective. Um, we work on promotional videos. First time, okay, you know, what do you want to promote? Do you want to get the crowd screaming or you just want to promote something? Because they're, they're kind of the same thing. Um, it's like a, uh, another project, like a PSA, a public service, service announcement, you know, but you, you want to get the crowd up and roaring or you just want to tell a story. You want them to come to the game. So those kids in that class, they've kind of been through those. They've done them. They had feedback. So now it's a chance to create. And that's kind of what it's been evolved to is, you know, you want your stuff on the big boards. You got to be in this class. You have to go through the program. So, you know, I, every now and then you have a really good kid in a lower level class, and then, but the kids in the upper class, like, nope, they can wait their time. <laughs> I've done my time. <laughs> yeah, they've done their time, you know, but again, it, Carney's unique because we have four levels in our program of study um, and some schools don't. And so you just, you got to find out for yourself as when does a kid have that ability that you mm -hmm. want to put his work up on that board? Because now you put it up there, it's up there for a lot of people to see yeah. And it, it's, it's a great thing. So every school is different. Okay. Um, my next question is, um, when you, you know, you made that transition from the class, like 
video board to classroom, classroom to video board. What does that workflow look like for your students? Um, just to ensure that there's a lot that goes into creating that content and how right. do you make sure it all ends up on the video board in just in time for game night? Yeah. Um, well, the first thing we always put up there is what's the objective? You know, it's kind of like you need a lesson plan. What is the objective of this video? And, you know, most of the time we say hype videos, we know the objectives of that because we've done multiple of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. But sometimes we also make commercials that go on that video. We make promotional videos. You know, let's, you want to make a promotional video for the FFA contest coming up. What's the objective of that commercial? And then, so you go to the kids, okay. And then is your objective to persuade or is it to inform? Mm -hmm. And so, okay, so we're, we're here to inform. Then it has a different type of vibe um, than, than a persuasive or a hype video that you want to get the crowd screaming about. Yeah. Um, so we, we, we talk about that. And again, by the time they get to the fourth mm -hmm. level, I usually don't have to teach that. They, well, because they've, they've been taught that before. Now we're in the highest level of Bloom's taxonomy of its <laughs> application. Yeah. You know, that, that, but that's, that's the purpose of this class. It's okay. You know, it's, it's application phase. Now you're kind of on your own. And then of course, then I work side by side with them. Okay. Uh, so, you know, and, but, you know, be, beforehand to teach those kids, we go through objectives, we go through, okay, what's the appeal? Is it informative? Is it persuasive? Is it to hype? Is it just to tell a story? And, and then we also talk about, you know, with your administration, what, what's the objectives your school has with the video boards? You know, is it to, you know, to create commercials to generate money? Uh, so, you know, that's what we go through on the night. And then uh, we talk about time, you know, because yeah. uh, how long, yeah, how, how long is usually like content? We, we have found, we have found, and again, this goes through research that we found, and we just, we watch, we watch a bunch of videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And just hearing people from the audience too is, okay, I'd say like every proverbial, the hype video to get the crowd screaming and yelling before a basketball game, right? We have always kind of found for us 40 to 40 seconds to one minute. And usually ours end up being about 50 seconds to one minute. After about a minute, the crowd can only be cheering for so long before they're like, <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> and then you know because they can they kind of lose that enthusiasm yeah um, I, I talked to a, an incredible teacher here in nebraska matt hinkle and he was telling me a story somebody put together this hype video it was like four and a half five minutes long and <laughs> that's a documentary like, they, yeah it's like dude that's a that's a that's a narrative short story and but it was a great video but it's too long yeah and so we, we've had to work and we kind of find out ours. If we usually put about 45 seconds to one minute, that okay. seems to be our sweet spot for our crowd to get them screaming and yelling, to get them going. And then we start the game. Okay. And again, that research, we just had to watch. And, uh, you know, colleges might be different, but our sweet spot is about 45 seconds to one minute. And, and just talking to people in the community. Do you have any... Besides the Huskers, are there any other like favorite college teams that you always try to look out for when you're researching? Um, uh, the best ones I can Huskers. I mean, it, it, everybody kind of jokes. Oh, yeah, of course, the Huskers local because no, actually, the Huskers were very much in front. You know, Husker Vision was one of the first programs like that in the nation. And a lot of people have copied them. Uh, some people have tremendous video production. Oregon stuff they produce is incredible. Uh, South Carolina is very good. Uh, Michigan State, um, off the top of my head. Uh, who else do we follow and watch? Uh, I'll put a plug for Georgia Southern, but I'm going to explain why. <laughs> yeah, no, no bias there. No, no, no bias there for objective. Georgia Southern. <laughs> um, uh, you know, but just uh, say, just watch those. Yeah, you know, just watch local Huskers, Oregon. Uh, I'm trying to think. You know, they're surprising if some of the bigger schools don't half yeah uh, Purdue, Purdue is actually very good um yeah I just you know, kind of go to some, some big schools you're like that's content you're putting out uh LSU LSU is phenomenal yeah that's one on top of my head the L, LSU is phenomenal so 
Right. Yeah, just just go um, on YouTube and just go on YouTube and look follow videos. Um, my next question is, do you have any advice for teachers looking to orient their digital media class to create more video board content? Like what advice would you give? What what advice did you wish you what did you wish you knew before you started out doing video board content? Yeah, um, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> no, okay, you know what? I'd say that honestly, the first thing you did is what we didn't do, and it really was no fault anybody, is kind of a clear objective of what we wanted to do for the boards. You know, my administration, they, they didn't really know. And so we were kind of blind mice leading blind mice, you know? <laughs> Uh, but I would say it kind of goes back to what we said before is talk to your administration and say, okay, what is, what is the objective that you guys want us to make? And meaning, mm -hmm. you know, do you want us to hype up the crowd? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want us to make commercials? Do you want us to make promotional videos? Because those are all different lesson plans yeah. and those are all different objectives that we can create um, do you want us to have starting lineup videos or, or a graphic? Again, and then you have to look at what can we do? Because, you know, I, I listed off there and that takes time to do all those well. And then you start to say, okay, what, what can we do? And what do I have the manpower to do? And let's do those well. So maybe we can't make a hype video right away. Maybe let's have an intro video, which is five or six seconds of every kid when they get introduced, which is kind of a cool thing. Cause it kind of like, if you want to be on varsity, you get one of those. So you I mean, we have JV kids going, I get video. Oh, you know, when at the start of the year, I say, okay, Hey, you people, I need you guys come in and we need to film you to make your intro video. And you see some like the, the sophomores, uh, juniors, every now and every now and then we'll have a freshman. Uh, and they're like, yes. I get, a, I get an intro video. You know, it's kind of a cool thing yeah. because they get one of those because they're on varsity. And it's yeah. kind of a hard work reward for getting one of those beyond varsity. And they get to see their picture on the video board when we have, you know, a thousand some people or, or a couple thousand people in our gym. It's like, cool. Um, <laughs> but if, if that's the first thing, the objective, then do that well. And there's, there's, again, there's, hundreds of examples on YouTube and, and find some and have your kids create. And, and it's, it's a template. You do the same template and then put everything, then put your picture up there, a graphic or video up there. Mm -hmm. um, and to say, okay, do you want to make high current? Do you want to make commercials to make, to raise money? What do we want to do and do well? Uh, and it, my kids have kind of, kind of been funny because they've traveled to some other class A schools and have video boards they don't do an intro video they have just the picture of the kids on there and the kids are they my students are coming back going why do they even have video boards <laughs> i mean why if, they, if they're not gonna have play videos on them why do they have a video board i'm like I, yeah. I guys i don't know and and maybe it's it's to make commercials and you raise money then then okay then that will teach that because you can make a lot of money making commercials in the real world outside of school so you, you can just talk to your administration because you know i have 20 some kids in a class to create but maybe you only have five so you can't do all those things so whatever you do do that well and then go to the next thing um i know that you've kind of I know administration plays a really large part, especially when doing video board content. Yeah. Um, is Do their expectations ever kind of change your objectives throughout the week? Because I feel like sometimes you've been, you said like, oh, I, you know, yeah, admin just came in, do. we have to crank out another. Like, yeah. how, do you, uh, how do teachers navigate that? Um, <laughs> survive caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> roll no, with it yeah, just roll with it i mean it, my, my kids we joke we laugh and say hey hug you know our, our athletic director usually at the start of the year we get i don't do i don't get a lot now but at the start of the year we always have a meeting on mondays we always talk on monday okay here's what we need to get done this week we need this graphic done or this video done you know we, this is what we do in this so everybody gets assigned a project or assigned pro 
And then every now and then I'll say on a Tuesday, hey, just got an email from our athletic director and a new company is coming on board and they want to make a commercial. And they're like, cool. You know, because our kids love making those because it's it's a yeah. real world experience. Absolutely. That's what we want to do is how do you make a commercial? You know, that's a real world experience. Okay, cool. It's Tuesday. We have to have it done by the next game on Friday. <laughs> he 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 does that to me all the time, <laughs> and usually in like August or September, he does that to me all the time. Uh, you, you, we just roll with it. We're like, "Yep, that's what he does." We're like, "It's not going to happen." <laughs> to, to do it well, it's not going to happen. But we're going to do the best yeah. we can. Yeah, yeah we've, we've, we'll we've do what we can it, in that little amount of time. <laughs> yeah, we've we've learned it, it takes you know, and, and you you got to tell businesses. These are kids and we're on the block schedule. And I, and I told this one business, you know, it's going to take probably about a week to two weeks to get this done. And he was really nice. And he said, why that long? That's like, well, the, the kid working is only in my class for an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes a day. Yeah. You know, it's not like a real world where this guy might work on it for eight hours. Yeah. And, and also he kind of popped a realization went, Oh yeah. Duh. Oh yeah. I <laughs> forgot. Yeah. He goes, yeah. They only work for an hour and 20 minutes a day. So if it eight hours, yeah. that's five days. And, and, the, but the businesses are, are wonderful. They've been great. Uh, but yeah. Sometimes the admin throws curveballs on you because they, they sometimes don't know how long it takes to make a good video. They think we can crank mm -hmm. one out in a day. And and because they, they just don't know. If only. <laughs> yeah, they just they just don't know. They just don't know. So we teach them. Uh, my next question is: so for the technical side of you know doing video board mm -hmm. content, um, what dimensions work best for graphics? What resolution works best for videos? Right. Yeah. Um, we, we just go by what's on our boards, and usually our all boards. You know, again, we're score vision. I'm, my guess is Daptronics the exact same thing. Is our video boards is 1920 by 1080, which is high definition. Um, okay. We have video boards, score tables, and those are kind of panos, and oh. those are like nine. I think those are 1920 by 300. So, okay. but many times the the company will tell you the the dimensions, and so you just got to work with that. But but you start working on panos, that's a different game because now it's yeah. very narrow. So how do you create an ad? And when we've had some companies say, okay, we want a 1920 by 1080, a full size video, but they also want a pano. So that changes how you create that. And, and that's an interesting thing for the kids to work on is, yeah. is how to adjust that. So that's been, that's, that's kind of a cool, cause that that's a real world experience, but usually the video um, company tells you the dimensions. Um, what, what kind of, how does your content differ between the pano and then the, the, the 1920 by 1080? Yeah. You just got to figure, okay, what's the objective that you have to have them see. Mm. And so sometimes you don't get to see a full face or a full body figure. You kind of cut off the middle. So you say, okay, what's the absolute objective you got to have in that middle and showcase that. Um, and so that it's been kind of cool. Uh, we did it. We did a company, and instead of seeing their entire building, which we show their entire building in the full company, maybe we had a frame up that you just saw the sign on the front because maybe you saw the sign and the building, but now you just saw the sign and a little bit of building in the background. Okay. And so it just you just you gotta really focus on okay, what exactly do we need to get seen in that panel? And that takes that takes a little practice. Um, kind of also more so in the technical vein, mm -hmm. um, what are some like, what are, what is some like hardware and equipment that you would recommend? Like, I know this year you just got the NAND lights. So yeah, what, right. what are, what are kind of other kind of equipment that you would recommend for doing video board content? Um, I, I, yeah, good lighting is really, really kind of essential. Um, yeah, I mean, you can get good art. I mean, we just got those, we got some RGB lights really oh, yeah. well. I mean, they're, they're great. And they're like 600, 
Um, and I said, they're RGB lights. And again, years ago, those would have been 1500. They're just getting cheaper and cheaper. Uh, you know, you can shoot good content in your phone as long as it's not far away. Uh, you know, your phone camera is incredible resolution. Uh, but a good a good camera is, is just, you see the difference of a really high-end camera. You know, we're talking a high-end camera, like a, a two, three, four, five thousand dollar camera, like a mirrorless, you know, like a Sony a7 III uh, or an FX3. You know, those are 2,000 or 4,000 dollar cameras and lenses add on top of that one. But you're, you know, that's zoom ratio, but your phone shoots really, really good. So, um, but, you know, if you go to a commercial, you go to a, a place of business, you, you got to have a lighting up. So you don't want to see, you know, it's, yeah. look at the difference here. You have good lights on you right here, right? <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> and look at and all, the only lighting I have is like the, the tube lights in a classroom above me. And you see that that's the difference. Yeah. And so you want good lighting on your face. Like you see, and you see, I have bad lighting on my face right here. You know, that's, you know, just look at the difference of our, our videos for you right here. But that, that's, that's what you need. Yours is better because you have good lighting on you. Mine's not because I'm just on, my, on a classroom lighting. Um, a, a microphone, good audio. Oh, yeah. Spend the money on a good recorder or a good microphone because okay. you want people to sound good. Um, yeah. And then for music, uh, we, we have a subscription to Envato. I think that's like $180 a year. There's okay. some other places. Maybe look into that. Um, you know, Do you think it's worth, worth yes. paying for a subscription? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We use that so much for just different things. I mean, there's overlays, there's graphics, there's oh. music, there's sound effects. And there's different brands out there. Um, Motion Array is really good, mm. I think. Uh, there, there's several places out there, but Envato, you know, there's LUTs on there for coloring. Um, that's that's one I like. So that's when we use that. And it's it's good for high school level. Okay. Yeah, we use that here in our office use, too. Yeah. So yeah, I, we use, yeah, we 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 use it all the time. It's it's worth it's worth all the penny we we spend on that. Okay. Um. What, what, in what ways have you seen creating video board content? How has that impacted your students, your school, and your community? How, how have you seen that oh, yeah. impact? You know, uh, just feedback from our community. They love the environment that those boards create. You know, get the kids up yelling and screaming. Get the fans up there. They, they love it when they turn the lights off. It adds to the environment. You know, go to Husker game. People get there early to watch the, the tunnel walk, right? So it just adds to your environment, okay? And then, you know, also I was, you get a chance to show off those kids. These yeah. kids on the, I'll say, at least use basketball. These kids in the basketball court, they get to show off their skill they worked hard for, and good for them. The crowd came there to watch them show off their talent and their skill. Well, I have a lot of students who are, they're, they're athletic, but athletics wasn't their thing. Maybe it's creations or thing. Now they could use that video board to show off their talent and their skill. And, yeah. you know, my, the kids are super nervous. When they put a video up there, they're like terrified, nervous because it's their stuff. But, you know, I get to show off a cool video to 1,500 people at a basketball game that a kid made. And then we tag them later on. You know, we don't say, we don't put the name out there and we on the video board, but we tag them later on. Just like this kid made this. And the, the crowd yeah. loves it. They know it. I mean, they, they expect it. It adds to our atmosphere. Uh, the community always says they, they love seeing the difference about there. And then, you know, and the students like it. They, they you know, come on. Students love to see themselves on boards. They do. <laughs> and they do. I mean, you know, proud to them. Uh, community likes it. Um, you know, and again, the, the school, we put promo videos up there for the different organizations. Yeah. You know, because now you have a big crowd in the scene. Um, you know, and it just, you know, it's, it's just a good thing. Everybody, everybody likes it. It just adds to the environment. We love having a good, fun environment for our games and those boards add to it. Yeah. I loved how you said, too, like, it's not only just, like, the athletes that get, like, 
get the spot on the board. It's also the students who aren't yeah. necessarily, who are just, you know, more creatively inclined and get to yeah, showcase their work. We, yeah. I, I, I joke that our, our athletic director says, you don't understand when they, when they put the boards in that these boards are mine. <laughs> they're not yours. They're mine. <laughs> because, and, and it's like, we're going to create the content. We're going to put it up there. And, and the, the kid, they love me. They really, that's, that's, that's their way of giving back and promoting their school. You know, their way isn't on the basketball court. Their way is on that video board. You yeah. want kids involved in school, find ways to allow them to be involved in school. Mm -hmm. And this is a way to allow a certain group of kids to showcase their talent. We have band concerts, right? We yeah. have choir concerts, right? That showcase their talent. This is a way for these kids to showcase their talent to an audience. And I get people all the time asking me, who made that? So we started tagging kids later on, like this kid made it. We want to show them off. We want to show kids off. They're incredible. Let's show them off. How do you tag them? Like what, what is, oh, are usually, you doing on social? Yeah, we do on social media. Yeah, we do on awesome. social media. Yeah. We, we'll, we'll post the video like later after the game, we'll post the video on social media. And we'll tag them later. Oh, that's so, awesome. So, so the students, so the students know who made that video. Oh. Yeah. So, you know, they should get credit for it. Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Why do you think students should be the one creating content for their video board? Um, well, we, we, you know, we kind of alluded on that is, is allowed in their creative content. Um, but, but here's another thing is, is we're seeing more and more of this. Okay. It's a, their creative ways, you know, again, like choir band. But we're seeing more colleges hire kids that are content creators because people always thought before what we did was, okay, you wanted to be a YouTube influencer. No, we wouldn't be a content creator. But colleges are hiring these kids. And I always tell my students, guys, if you go, if you're going to say you're going to college, do you want, you have to work, right? Do you want to be a, you want to work as a waitress? Do you want to work in the mall? Or do you want to go to a Husker football game, make minimum wage, but you're out of game? Yeah. You know, do you want to be a video camera operator or work behind the scenes at a Husker volleyball game for free? <laughs> you know, and you get paid for it. Yeah. And so, you know, in the last last year, we had three students join Husker Vision. You know, you have to apply and they got in Husker Vision. Uh, I have a couple applying this year and one student, it actually, he wants to be in what's our content called, their, their, jokingly, they call it the corn crib. It's called Husker Creative. <laughs> yeah. And and Husker Creative makes the videos to go on social media. Yeah. Husker Vision makes videos to go on their video boards, kind of two different areas at, at Lincoln. Uh, we've had several students that are making content for UNK. And UNK has video boards and they're expanding their content creation more and more. Uh, I We have a former student who makes content creation for Creighton basketball. So yeah. I, I watch I watch Creighton basketball. I was like, there she is. She sent me a video of the night the other day. She goes, you know, and she's, she doesn't go to Creighton. She goes, UNO. But she works <laughs> for Creighton basketball. Uh, and then we're finding out, is I know this one, uh, if you like that area, uh, you can get a graduate assistant and they can pay for your master's program. You know, we have a former student. Again, we do kind of joke at, at TAS at Georgia Southern. We have a former student. He's at Georgia Southern. He's getting his master's paid for and he gets paid to make video for a university. And those graduate assistant programs are getting bigger and bigger and they're, they're hiring yeah. more. So, you know, yeah. why should students create it? Hey, it's a part time job. Maybe you don't want to do it as a life, but it's a job you can do in college. But if you do want to do it, there's jobs exploding all over colleges for just athletic departments. And that's not counting marketing departments because I had UNK ask me, do you have somebody for their, just their marketing of UNK? Because if you want to market UNK to students, you got to make video. So the same skill to make a video for the video board is the same skill that you're making a marketing video for UNK. It's the same skill. Yep. 
if you make a commercial for you for the video board, it's the same commercial you can make for freelance, like a kid like Dante Bullhauer is making, who's incredible. Same skill, you know. So why shouldn't students be making it? It's a, it, they can make a job out of it. They can make a profession out of it. Yeah. And you don't, you know, or you can just do a college path. Yeah. I now, like, um, I just talked to a student uh, recently who goes to Midland and her work study job is running their, their yeah. business school social and, media. And she, is, and she is Drive alum? Yes. Yeah, she yeah. is. I think the content creator is it was it John Kent the, I think they have one content creator right now at UNK. She's a drive alum, if I believe right. Yes, Olivia. Olivia. She's yes. a drive alum. The kid at Georgia Southern, drive alum. Okay. Yes. The um the multimedia coordinator for the Omaha Supernovas, the brand new <laughs> pro volleyball professional team. Volleyball. Professional yep. volleyball team, their multimedia coordinator is a drive alum. <laughs> I mean, you were taking over the world. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> there we go. But no, but you know what? We gave the kids the opportunity. Their their jobs are out there and they're they're not going back. No. You know, it's 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 a digital media world because we're all on our phones. So why should students create content? We're on our phones for five hours a day. So, and that's where the content is. So let's make it, we're, we're, let's be the one, someone's going to make it. So let's be the ones making it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, what is for maybe teachers who aren't necessarily, um, maybe who aren't necessarily like inclined to doing more video production, um, right. what is a great starting place for creating video board content? I, okay, I'd say the, a good starting place. Okay, again, it goes back to what's the objective, and then I, I, best place. I always tell students YouTube University. <laughs> I mean, just I mean uh, that's it. That's a good starting place to go to because what type of video do you want to make? What do you want to create? And then just go there, find some cool videos. Like I know a student. He one of our the, one of the first videos we ever did. Actually, the first video we ever did. Um, I've got our video boards it was a hype video for volleyball because the first, kind of the first season, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. And he found one from uh, Minnesota, university of Minnesota did one. And he goes, this is really, really cool. I'm like, yes. Then he asked me, how do we do it? Not a clue, <laughs> but it looked really cool. I said, okay, let's deconstruct the video. Let's break it down. When we started breaking it down, we're like, oh, that's a double exposure. How do we do that? Don't know. But you know what? Then you start doing research. Again, we we'll go to YouTube. I mean, YouTube has so much on there. Yeah. You know, don't be afraid. Now, I looked at kid. I don't know how to do a double exposure. I literally, but I literally typed in double exposure in video in Premiere Pro because that's a program we use. A couple hundred videos showed up on how to do it. And then we watched those and learned how to do it. You know, don't be afraid to have that. And then that's, that's a starting point. But again, what do you want to do? What's your objective and didn't do that objective well? And then once you have that down, then build the next one. Don't start and go, oh, we want to do a hype video, intro video, run out video and commercials. You know, good luck. You know, let me know how it goes for you. You know, do one of those, nail it. Then do the second. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll be a, a jack of all trades. You know, a master of none. Yeah, that's what they call that. So, that that'd be my advice. Um, where what do you think is a must when creating video board content for your school? Is it always going to be like, is it a hype video? I know you've kind of um, also touched on like, it kind of depends on what admin wants, but. Yeah, um, uh, you go back to what admin wants because, you know, a lot of times what we've seen is, is commercials to generate revenue. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, I say what, you know, what, what's a must. Um, yeah, I, I say, I don't know, I'd say a must is. Um, yeah, again, again, the objectives, because if, if people want to see the, the commercials on there, 
then you know focus on that i guess um oh i hear no know the laws the mm. rules and laws what you can and can't do on there um like what uh you know copyright laws uh for the video boards so uh, I'd, I'd say just clear expectations clear goals yeah. um a must don't promise anything mm. uh what i mean by that is just you know good video takes time to create don't say oh i can do this i can do this i can do this because it's it has to go on the board it has to be done by that thursday it has to be done by that friday and if he doesn't get it done then it looks bad upon you um and, and most teachers say, hey, how long does it take to make a good video? It takes days. Maybe it takes, you know, we always say it takes two weeks to make a good hype video. A, a one minute hype video takes two weeks of class time. Minimum, two weeks, minimum. Um, know your expectations and what you can and can't do. That, that'd be the biggest thing of a, um, of a must. Um, if, if a school is maybe doesn't feel very confident in doing video, is a, mm -hmm. would you recommend starting with doing graphics? Graphics. Yeah. Okay. They, that comes, that comes into of know what you can and can't do. Yeah. You know, I, I'm lucky I'm at a school that I have, we have another teacher here that is, she has a graphics design class. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to teach Photoshop or graphics. I can focus primarily on video. Graphics are great. The graphics have a shelf life of seconds because yeah. people see the graphic and then they move on because mm -hmm. that's the purpose of a graphic. Okay. We put a graphic up there. It's not going to get the crowd screaming. That's, that's not the intent of a graphic. It's the intent of graphics to inform, mm -hmm. not to get them all yelling. Um, we have some on some of the stuff, some of the commercials we run, some of the ads we run are just graphics. Mm -hmm. People have made them we, because they're there to inform. And some are video. Um, so, so you know, they use both hands. If, if your wheelhouse is graphics, make some really good graphics and do those and do those well mm -hmm. and put those up there and then start going, okay, let's start learning video. Contact me. I'll help you out. You know, because my <laughs> area is especially is video. Uh, somebody asked me, can you help me on Photoshop? Nope. Can't help you. That's, I, I don't know what that was. Yeah. Um, oh, and then, like, so for for uh, doing video, I know you mentioned Adobe mm -hmm. Premiere Pro. Um, are there other uh, softwares that you would recommend too for doing video content? Uh, we just, you know, we use video. We use Premiere because that's why our school has Adobe. Uh, okay. I, I know some schools. They some students have the Apple. and They have Final Cut Pro. You know, I, I know some colleges that they, they, they've put stuff on their video boards for colleges since Final Cut Pro. Um, I've never played around with DaVinci Resolve. Yes, that's Everything what Hoosier uses in our yeah, office. What I've always heard is people, you know, I bet, I bet the stuff that I can make on Premiere Pro, Hoosier can make in DaVinci Resolve. And, you know, and, and probably students can make some stuff on their phones with things like CapCut. Yeah. I mean, there's, you're, you're limited on a phone. But man, you can do some really cool stuff on your phone. So, you know, again, I've never played with DaVinci Resolve, but I've never heard a bad thing about it. Um, iMovie is limited, but if if all you have is iMovie, you know what? What will your will your audience know any different? Probably not. Probably not. It's better to have that than nothing at all. Yeah. Um, so I, if that's if you have iMovie, DaVinci Resolve is free. DaVinci Resolve is good. So use that. Um, do you? I know you kind of touched on this um, uh, earlier. So you you do repurpose your video board mm -hmm. content and put it on social yep. media. Um, is that on your um, uh, on the screen there? The KHS Media Pro. Yeah, our account, KHS is, Media Pro. Yeah, and that's where and there's, it's repurposed. There's a lot of things too. And there's a lot of things also like in video production, like promo videos on social media. But, you know, people always ask, you know, our hype videos, they want to see them like on social media. So we always, we always wait 
like after the game or a couple of days after the game to put our hype videos on social media. Mm-hmm. And, but then when we do, cause then people can see them because the kids again, you know, they, they see them on the game and people want to see them later on. And so, so we usually post them on YouTube, uh, YouTube, Insta, we go YouTube, Insta and Twitter. We, we usually okay. post our, uh, and, and I'm sorry, Facebook. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, we, we, we post them. So uh, Facebook, Twitter and Insta. Uh, we put we put those videos out there for the the kids like to see them. So we we, we put them out there, and then then now also it's the same place we put our promotional videos at. Uh, our same places, you know, promo videos won't go on our video boards because the promo is to get to the game. Yeah, no. The, video, the videos there is at, at the game. Okay. Um. Awesome. I feel I had a question about. Um, okay. No, no, I can't think of it. But uh, Rob, this is incredible. And then, like, and then, I well, and yeah. here's and here's the thing is too is because you know, and I, I want to touch on this. Um, we were talking about it's it's funding, you know, and everything's about funding and money. We get it. You know, you want to open up an administrator eyes, talk about money. <laughs> is but you know, if you want trying to generate funds for your program, and we always want to generate funds, we don't want to go to school board and ask for money. Okay. Uh, what you you can purpose up there is, you know, what what can you do? Go go, go to a local business or you know a bank or something. I'll, I'll, I'll use a bank. I, I my primary sponsor is a bank, and they are wonderful for us. But something that I've also seen some other schools is okay. If you make social media content, then can can we put a logo at the end of a bank? Um, yeah. you know, they, they sponsor, not just our streams because that, but I did have our, a, a person ask us and they said, well, can we put your, can we put a logo on the video boards for the hype video? And I was like, I prefer not because it kind of loses, the, it makes it feel commercialized. Yeah. And they said, okay. But then I went, you know, next year we have a recontract and it was when we, put that video on social media, we can tag you. Mm-hmm. And the idea is like at the end, we'll play the video at the end. Then right at the end, we can, we're going to put like our media pro, you see our logo at the bottom yeah, and then put their bank logo or their company logo right next to it. You know, we wouldn't do that on our video boards. Cause it loses the feel of a hype video to get the crowd screaming. Yeah. But if we put up when we put on social media, we show, hey, these people are sponsoring us, and and we use those, you know, to generate sponsors and sponsors like that. You know, again, hey, these are the people that help us out, and and, and they're getting something. They're getting a little advertising, but we're we're saying thank you to these people because these people are so generous to us. Because without their financial support, we couldn't do these things. We couldn't get the cameras. Yeah. You know, we couldn't get the subscriptions in Vado. Um. And so, so we're using that, uh, like social media, to to get that. Out. And and it is it's the same. It's the videos that were on our video board. Now we're moving to social media and the tag on social media. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, video boards. It's a way to generate revenue. I right, we've had our we had our, this is our fifth year for our video boards, and I believe, if I'm right, um, we had our video boards paid off within three to four years. And now we're, now we're generating, we're generating revenue from those, from the commercials that we run on those. We're generating revenue now. It's paid off the video. And it's, Mm -hmm. and we're in this, our fifth year. And I believe Carney High is adding two more video boards. So we're going to have a, we're going to have a total of six video boards next year. And, 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 and we've got them. Because of revenue we've generated on commercials and advertisements, mm. uh, so so I mean you can generate revenue. And if you have questions about that one, have them contact me at Carney High. We'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much, Rob. Like, oh. yes, you are an incredible resource for doing video board content. Like, again, we try. like you you you've already had your you, you know you do your commercials. Your boards are already paid yep. for. Now you're adding more. Like. Thank and we you, tell people, thank you. If you want to come see, you know, come to Carney High Game. We love the idea, the atmosphere that we put on. 
and and the the lights of like they have it using the boards because that's the board. Use use them as create an atmosphere. People love it. People love a cool atmosphere. We were. Um, I thought it was really incredible when we did our All Star game um, yep. for our Strive All Star basketball game. We had it at GICC and they had a huge video board. We brought our replay system there, and you can just tell after a play happened, the crowd just turns their head to the video, the video board to yep. watch. Like we're, we're, it's just, we're it getting, really we're, changes the atmosphere. Change the atmosphere. Yeah, and I we I always joke is hopefully <laughs> UNK is going to get a video board here soon for football. Oh yes, you know, it, and again, people are like, "Oh my lord, they're how can they have that where they do budget cuts?" Well, the the video board is going to pay for itself. If you put commercials yeah. on there, it's going to pay for itself. It will. I mean, I just it, it's going to pay for itself within three years. It's going to be paid off, and they're going to generate revenue on it. Um, I gave Mister Mister Bauer and their their incredible athletic director a hard time. I was like, "Yeah, you put that on. What's going to be really funny is when you put that on, Carney High is going to have a have a better walkout." tunnel walk video than you and K will. And he looked at me and went, yeah, probably for the first year. <laughs> Cause, you know, Cause we have the, cause we have the kids already ready to go, you know, and you and K's building theirs now <laughs> they're building a quite a program there. Uh, that low provision is good program uh, and they're building and they're going to be real good. Oh, that's awesome. And so, yeah. uh, so there, uh, I know someone had mentioned that you, you kind of got a TriCaster here recently. We did. Do you, yeah, we got a TriCaster system. You, do you foresee, I know probably the admin has already been pushing you. Do you foresee putting replay up on your video boards anytime soon? We are soon? doing it. We are doing it right now. In fact, Jordan from Strive, I just talked to him less than an hour ago and he's <laughs> planning on coming to Carney High next week to attach it. And then my, after I get off this cone call, I've been contacting ScoreVision on the operations side and we should, knock on wood, should and hope to have replay on our video boards in January through uh, with our oh. TriCaster system. That's we should, incredible. That, that, that's, that's the goal is to have it on there in January. And uh, we pulled out some of our crowds and they are absolutely pumped. And here's another thing, again, We've already talked to some businesses, you know, and putting their logo up on the replay. Mm. You know, instead of having, you know, the the you know the strive re, you know replay, you know, we have just a quick logo. You know, KHS replay. We have a, a swipe. Brought to you by Strive. Yeah. Brought to you by whatever business. It's yeah. really quick, but it's there. Another way you can generate revenue exactly. using the video boards to generate revenue and. It's it's giving to the school, yeah. And so the, the thing, but yeah, we should have our TriCaster. That was a nice grant money addition. We were so we'll we'll one. have to we'll have to check back in on uh, in January to see how it how it looks on your video board. Absolutely, we'll see how it does. One more question. I remember question. what I wanted to ask. All right, what do you got? Um, I know that a, a video board is a really large money generating system. Yep. If if a, if a school wasn't necessarily inclined to do commercials, what would you think about putting the actual live stream on a video board during the game? Um, like, what are your thoughts on that? I, I'm okay. I mean, I, we've talked about it. Um, I'm kind of back and forth about a live stream on it. And because my thought is I'd rather have them watch the action mm, than a live yeah. stream. And, you know, a live stream – and a Husker game is one thing because if you're up in the nosebleed section in Memorial Stadium, you the, you, you might the, the video board might help you see the action. But yeah, you know, you come to a high school basketball game, you're not that far away. And you know, and we have a gym. You know, our gym holds two thousand people. We've had packed houses before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and most of the schools are not even that big. You know, we're Class A, and we have a phenomenal crowd support at Kearney. Um, You know, our our kids have found out we have students traveling with our basketball team videoing their basketball team and they're like they're surprised at how small some of the crowds are in class a like, yeah yeah you guys really be surprised um the instant replay is cool our, our crowd really wants yeah. that but i don't i i'm 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 not gonna probably push to put live action on our boards because you know that's that's a lot of bandwidth yeah. a lot of time when people probably not going to look at it because they're going to be watching the game because they're close by. Yeah. Uh, if, if they want to yeah. do it. Oh, okay. But 
you know, that's, that's a lot of work, a lot of bandwidth for, you know, you're not that far away from the game. <laughs> so instant replay, I think is awesome, but yeah. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to push to put a live action on that board when we get that capability, hopefully in the next month. But if, no, if yeah, the administration, say, but if the administration says I want on there, guess what I do? I'm going to put it on the board. I can put it on the board. So. Aww. Well, awesome. Well, thank you again, Rob. Seriously, no um, any teachers do not hesitate to reach out to Rob. He is Please a great do. resource. Please um, do. But besides that, we'll be sure to check back in January and see how the instant replay looks on your board. Absolutely. I can't wait.